Many historians believe that the average life cycle of a civilization is roughly 250 years. The United States, just this past summer, celebrated our 245th birthday. What that means is that this great nation has less than five years to make a very crucial choice. Are we going to dissolve at the hands of authoritarian progressivism and woke corporatism? Or are we going to rise up, stand for freedom, and pursue the liberties that have made this nation so special in the first place? We at Public Square are choosing freedom. We believe in a bright future for our nation, but we'll only get there if we pursue innovation and creativity as we push back against the tyranny of big tech and progressive corporations, all the while protecting the unalienable rights allotted to each individual in the public square. Public Square is an app that provides local connection to those who have felt silenced. And we do this through interactive, safe, and censor-free groups. We provide reliable topic-based resources for those that want to know how they can make a difference in their community. And we provide a digital marketplace that displays all of the freedom-loving businesses in your local community so that you can ensure you're spending your hard-earned money in alignment with your values for all of life's purchases. We believe that freedom gets brought into the mainstream when we can provide a social platform for people in local communities to safely and securely live out their values. And Public Square is that platform. If you're looking for new friends that share your values, reliable information about your school board or who's on your city council, a job with a company that won't ask about your medical choices, or simply a cup of coffee at a cafe that hasn't gone woke, you'll love the Public Square platform. To join the national movement of thriving local communities, download the Public SQ app today to get started. Sweet. How's it going? Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's amazing to see you all. Love all these smiling faces. It's incredible. My name is Michael Seifert. I'm honored to serve as the CEO of the company that you just witnessed in that video there. We are called Public Square. And I'll tell you a little bit about what we're doing in a second, but first I want to tell you a little bit of the why behind the what. You just saw the what. You saw this app, this amazing new community, what the Public Square was always supposed to be, which is a free place for expression and thought for a marketplace that honors those freedoms for every single individual, unborn and born. Amen? Awesome. So that's the what, but why? A few years ago, uh, my wife and I were sitting and just reading through the news, and I saw this piece that came up, and it was about how Starbucks announced that they were going to match employee contributions to Planned Parenthood. So not only were they excited about giving their money to Planned Parenthood, an organization that is directly opposed to freedoms for certain people, obviously, but they were going to encourage their employees to also give to that organization. We start doing some digging and realize how big of an issue this is. We realize that there are corporations, hundreds of them in the United States, that have so much influence in our daily lives that are evangelists for abortion. They're not just neutral. It's not like they're not donating to life, but they're not donating to death, and they're just kind of hanging in the middle. These are corporations that are adamantly opposed to life and adamantly evangelizing for a culture of death. And we start going through our list of our daily purchases and realizing, holy cow, we had no idea we were enabling this with our dollars. God forgive us. It's heartbreaking to witness. Do you know that Planned Parenthood, since 2006, has actually doubled their assets doubled their assets. And what's shocking is that Planned Parenthood has tripled their donation from private interests, from corporations and from big wealth offices that realize that there's a section of the society that will somehow reward them if they are to give to the culture of death. And what these corporations have done is they've missed the reality that there's an army of people. We're actually the larger demographic in the United States that love life, that want to protect life. These corporations have made a grave miscalculation in thinking that we're going to be silent anymore. For a long time, we enabled this by still going to Starbucks. We enabled this by kind of turning our eyes and ears off to the reality of what woke corporatism that funds a culture of death is doing to our communities. But I'm here to tell you, we're not going to do it anymore. I want to realize... Amen. I want to realize to the depth of my being that my dollars carry weight. How many of you have gotten a coffee in the last 24 hours? Okay. How many of you ate at a restaurant this week? 
How many of you have checked your bank account in the last seven days? Okay. Friends, our company initially was banking with Chase, and uh, very quickly on, we realized how problematic that was. Um, we realized that Chase was also giving to terrible causes that stand antithetical to every value we hold dear, and they weren't who we were exclusively banking with, but we had them as a section of our business, and we completely dropped them, and we went with a bank that loves freedom, loves the lives of the unborn, donates to causes that support the future that we want to see created in the United States. It's called Axos Bank, and we get connected with all these incredible partnerships, people like Nick Vujicic, who are starting these pro-life banks. It's absolutely amazing. One thing that's crazy is that as we were leaving Chase, our banker actually calls us and questions us about our political views. Realize, realize, whether it's coffee, food, banking, your plumber, what you give your dollars to is what you continue to enable. And I know that some of us can say, well, I know, but there's just such a convenience factor. I was sitting with someone yesterday, and we were just talking about how I, I know, I get it, Starbucks is convenient. I can't stand their coffee. They burn their coffee, it's gross. <laughs> but... I'm kind of a coffee snob, so I, I like pro-life coffee and good tasting coffee, and I've got my coffee shops. But I know there's this convenience factor, but I'm here to tell you today that when we ignore the atrocities that are happening as a result of these corporations lining up on this side to support a culture of death, we are actively enabling that to continue. Here's my dream. What if... What if 35 million Americans stopped going to Starbucks because they found a better local option that supports their values, loves freedom, loves the lives of the unborn? And what if we could do the same for the hotels you stay at, the restaurants you eat at? What if we could do the same for the plumber that you let into your house? What if we could do the same for the electrician that comes by? What if we could do the same X, Y, Z? We'd go through the list. So we created the platform. Can I tell you about it? Sweet. Love it. Thank you. We started this amazing app called Public Square. And what Public Square does is we connect freedom-loving Americans, pro-life Americans, with all of the local community and businesses that share your values. And I have great news, friends. I have great news. In California alone, we already have over 700 businesses on the app. And these are businesses... Yeah, we can clap for that. Amen. It's incredible that there's 700 businesses and growing every single day that are saying we are standing up for a future in this great country where every single life is respected and valuable. So here's how this works. This Public Square app is made up of three components. We've got a community where you can actually have sensor-free conversation. You're not going to have your God-given right to speak your mind infringed upon by some big tech oligarch that's never met you and is so out of touch with the needs that you have in your day-to-day -day life. So even if we disagree with people and their thoughts on our platform, it is not our right to stop speech. That was never what the Public Square was supposed to be about. So you can have sensor-free conversations about whatever you want to talk about, life, vaccines, abortion, no one's going to censor it. We have another component of the app called The Fountain where you can learn who's representing you on your day-to-day -day lives in your city council, school boards, all these different elected positions. How do you hold them accountable? We actually have every single school board in Southern California listed out for you. In fact, friends, we are the largest compilation of school board data in the United States already and we just launched four months ago. It's amazing. <laughs> And the final piece is what I just mentioned. It's the marketplace. And this is where you can learn the coffee shops, hotels. Guys, I was speaking with this couple. I saw them at a coffee shop and they came up to me all smiley and they said, hey, aren't you the guy with Public Square? And I said, yeah. And they said, we just wanted to let you know we're celebrating our 20th anniversary this weekend and we made a commitment to only spend money at pro-life businesses for our entire weekend. So every single thing we're doing on our anniversary weekend is through Public Square. We're staying at Freedom Loving and Pro-Life hotel. We are shopping and eating at restaurants that love our freedoms and our values. We are even running jet skis from a company that is pro-America and pro the lives of the unborn. It's amazing. I believe that your dollars carry weight. I believe that they have power. And my dream is, what if 35 million plus, because there's way more of us than that, even that, but that's just the low-hanging fruit. What if we all lined up and said, I'm not going to this anymore because I found a better local option. What if 
what if those companies that you would decide to now go with because they love freedom and they love your values, what if those companies could also give you discounts to go shop there so that you could receive incentives for spending money in alignment with your values? Good news, friends. Many of the companies on our app actually do that very thing. They'll give you discount incentives to show the app and say, I'm here because I love life and I love these freedoms. You deserve to be rewarded for spending money in a way that supports the betterment of our entire nation, both the born and the unborn. Final thing I'll say. We also have a job board on the app. It's amazing. This is where you can actually get hired from employers that also share the same values you share. It's amazing. So we're really excited, friends. We've heard testimony after testimony of how people have changed their spending habits, and we would encourage you to do the same. I really believe that in 10 years, we will be looking at a completely different demographic where we actually see that Planned Parenthood has been erased from the fabric of our society because people stood up and realized that the thing that keeps them going is money. So let's move our money elsewhere. Sound good? Come on. All right, here's what I'd love us to do. If you can pull out your phone, if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, you will see the public SQ app on the App Store or Google Play. Yeah, I love it. You got it. Come on, some of you are already holding them up. I love it. Yes. Friends, we just launched four months ago. We're already the largest compilation of freedom-loving businesses in the United States, and we are growing every day. Just this past week, we added 200 businesses to the app. It's amazing. The movement is growing. It's free for businesses to join, and it's free for users to join. There's no in-app purchases. We want to grow this movement together. The next thing I want you to do, and this is the final thing, if you have Instagram, if you can go follow us at Official Public SQ, you can follow along with the journey there as we continue to expand across the nation. Friends, thank you so much. It is it's been an absolute honor to speak with you, and we are so excited for you to join the movement. Thank you.